Natalie and Ribeiro and Ludmilla Fiori. Natalie with the red belt, Ludmilla with the black belt. This one, the eighth finals, the women's Guy Brown and black belt professional lightweight division. Going to get a double foul here, so one point awarded to each athlete. Double guard pull. Nathalie looking for the lasso. It's a battle of leverage here for the case of Nathalie. Ludmilla is about to retract the legs and get to the top position. Another foul for each athlete and then advantage for Nathalie. Double guard pull. That's why you see the referee look at his watch. He's not waiting for lunch. If there's a double guard pull, that's, what, that's the gesture that is signaled. Ludmilla now four points to Nathalie's three. Ludmilla now patient. She's got to try and clear that spider configuration there on the left arm spider guard usually both feet on the inside of the biceps of your opponent we're seeing a lasso and a spider on that side triangle available there as well ludman has got to try and clear these grips here she's going to use her knees to push the leg through and she's going to try and get that lasso on the outside of her body you see the left leg there of uh, Ludmilla. Nathalie wants to try and punch that. Now it's on the outside. Now she's got the opportunity to sweep. Or pass a guard, excuse me, she begins, she, but she gets swept. Top position now for Nathalie. Five to four now on the scorecards. Lasso is such a viable option in Gi Jiu Jitsu. And we see the birth of many techniques tried and tested here and then implemented into the forever game of Jiu Jitsu. And the Lasso grips one of them. We see in the squid guard and the worm guard being tried and tested. You know, it takes a bit of time for people to con consolidate the escapes. But the Lasso is such a viable option for a person off their back to prevent the guard passes, to prevent the advances of the person on top. It's such a solid technique that's uh, come up recently over the years and, um, you know, comparatively to when Jiu Jitsu was first on the scene and the knee slice was paramount, the mounts, the back takes, the side control positions, the tornado passes, you know, the old school techniques that stay around because they stay around, they're good, they work, you know, and I think the Lasso in the gear at least is uh, one of those techniques that's going to stay around forever. You can see then Ethel looking out at the clock. Since she's five to four. Now that's going to prom promote the game plan here. Lapel being implored, trying to get uh, the pass through. And here we see some of the more modern guards with the lapel. Looking for the worm guard here, passing it through. She's going to get a nice grip. Now she's got a massive anchor point there on the right leg of Nathalie. It's going to really inhibit the movement. Also, it's going to op open up an opportunity there for sweeps and back takes we're seeing with Miller look for 
She can also lose, if she can block the arm, she can sweep to that left side as well. She might have lost the arm, she's still got the grip. Great anchor point here with the lapel. But Natalie does it with five to four. In the eight finals of the women's brown and black belt professional lightweight division. Stay tuned for more matches coming your way here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Slam World Tour in London, live from the Copper Box Arena. Today is the professionals here on mat three. Check out ajptour.com for the relevant mats today. We have five mats up on the website. You can check your fighters, your favorite fighters, and indeed watch the matches here on mat three.